In a sport like college basketball, we've come to expect the unexpected. Whether it be coaching changes, NCAA tournament upsets, or conference realignment, it's all kind of been seen or done before. But every once in a while, there's a story or a team that just defies all logic and reason. Something so unbelievable that it just can't be properly explained by anything or anyone. And this year, one of those rare events is happening. Because no matter how many times I go over their roster, or watch their games, or look at their numbers, I just can't seem to answer this one question. How the hell is Washington State this good? No matter how you slice it, Washington State should not be in the position they're currently in. The Cougars are 21-7, sit at first place in the Pac-12, and have pretty much locked up their first NCAA tournament berth since 2008 with a very good chance of getting a decent seed once they get there as well. And while that's a very successful season in its own right, the fact that it's happening at Washington State is kind of unbelievable. Heading into the year, Washington State had lost their top four scorers from last season. They were left for dead in the wake of conference realignment, and they were picked to finish a lowly 10th in the Pac-12. Despite all of that though, head coach Kyle Smith has turned this team into a winner. But how he built it was anything but ordinary. Washington State doesn't have any top tier recruits or highly sought after transfers. They barely cracked the top 40 on all the metric sites. And frankly, on the surface, nothing really stands out about them. So to figure out why Washington State keeps winning, we gotta dig a little bit deeper. To start, Washington State's roster might be the most uniquely assembled team in all of college basketball. Among their typical starters, Washington State has three guys who started their collegiate careers below the Division I level, two who were born outside of the United States, and one who was playing his first season of college basketball after beating cancer and redshirting the previous two years. And that one is 6'3 guard Miles Rice. A three-star recruit in the class of 2021, Rice played his high school ball in Georgia before committing to Smith and the Cougars in November of 2020, as Washington State was his only high major offer. As a true freshman, he redshirted and was primed to get his first action during the 2022-23 season, but he was diagnosed with Hodgkin's lymphoma in September of 2022, forcing him to miss the entirety of the following season as he went through treatment. In June 2023 though, Rice was thankfully cleared and able to resume basketball activities, and he's hit the ground running in his first collegiate season. He's averaging around 15.5 points and 4 assists per game, and he's become one of the more reliable offensive options for the Cougars as the team's floor general. Rice is a very shifty driver who can attack guys from a standstill off the bounce, and he just has a knack for evading defenders and finishing at the rim with consistency and touch. And that craft also allows him to finish well in the paint with floaters and runners. Rice also thrives as an isolation scorer, and while he doesn't have to resort to this a lot, he's still very capable of breaking down defenders and getting clean looks, as he's shooting a blistering 61% from the field in these settings. Watch here how Rice employs a subtle hesitation move that leaves Pell Larson in the dust, allowing him to finish with an easy layup. Rice's ability to create instant separation as a driver also makes him viable as a distributor, as he leads the team in assists, and he's the only one on the team that averages more than 2.5 per game, so a lot of the playmaking burden rests on his shoulders. And overall, he does a pretty good job of getting others involved, as he's great at drawing the defense's attention while attacking the rim, and then hitting open teammates as a result of that defensive rotation. Here, Rice will once again blow by his man, which forces a collapse from the defense in the paint, and allows Rice to hit Andre Yakimovsky for an open three. While Wright's offensive contributions are important, you could make a case that Washington State's offense actually runs through 6'9 forward Isaac Jones. A fifth-year senior, Jones has had a winding path to Pullman that saw him spend three years at the JUCO level before making the transition to Division I last year, where he played at Idaho and averaged around 18 points and 8 boards a game while taking home all Big Sky honors. This year, Jones has been just as impressive, as his 15.8 points and 7.7 .7 rebounds a game both lead the team, and his post-up game is what Washington State's offense has been built around. Per synergy, around 14% of Washington State's offensive possessions feature post-ups, which is the ninth most in Division I, and Jones is the main reason behind that. At 6'9 with broad shoulders, Jones presents a unique problem for opposing defenses because of his strength and quickness. He's very good at clearing out space to give teammates open passing windows, and he mitigates any height disparities he may face with his overall elusiveness. He's great at just shedding defenders with a variety of quick post moves, and these often lead to easy finishes or free throws, where he's knocking down a solid 73% of his attempts. Watch here how Jones takes a minute to survey the defense before setting his defender up perfectly with a spin move, which allows him to finish with an easy layup. With Rice being a predominantly downhill player and Jones being most comfortable in the post, Washington State has kind of gone against the modern grain in college basketball when it comes to outside shooting. 
only 31% of Wazoo's field goal attempts come from behind the arc, and they've only attempted more than 23s in 10 of their 28 games this year. In spite of that though, Washington State has one guy in Jalen Wells, who's been an absolute flamethrower from behind the arc, as he hits 45% of his triples on around 4.5 attempts per game. Wells is another guy for Washington State who started his career below the Division 1 level, as he spent his first two collegiate seasons at Division 2 Sonoma State, where he averaged 22 points a game last year. As a 6'8 off-ball guard, Wells gives the Cougars some much-needed shooting and size, as he's a lethal spot-up threat thanks to his catch-and-shoot ability, but also due to his ball-handling skills which allow him to attack closeouts and rise over the top of defenses for rhythm jumpers. Because of his height and length, Wells isn't really bothered by contests, meaning that he can get a decent shot at practically any time. On guarded catch-and-shoot threes, Wells hits an absurd 45% of his attempts, which is among the best in the nation given his volume, and this gives the Cougars a reliable bailout option if they get stuck offensively. Plus, he's already shown an ability to carry the offensive load for certain games, as he's recently coming off a win at Arizona where he scored 27 points and drilled 6 threes, including a game-winning 4-point play with under 30 seconds left. Rounding out the starting five is Andre Yakimovsky and Oscar Clough. At 6'8", Yakimovsky gives Washington State another volume suited with size, and he's actually the only player on the roster who's been at Washington State for four seasons. Yakimovsky hails from North Macedonia and averages 10 points a game, while Clough is a 6'11 center from Australia who also spent the first two seasons of his career at the junior college level, and he provides Washington State with some interior beef and post defense. Speaking of defense, Washington State doesn't have anyone I would classify as a lockdown individual defender, but as a team, they work extremely well together and buy into their identity. Simply put, Washington State sets out to control the pace of the game. Offensively, they play at one of the slowest tempos in the country, but this also translates to the defensive end, as the Cougars are one of the best defensive teams in transition in America. They are very diligent when it comes to getting back and limiting opportunities for runouts from a numbers perspective, but they also do a great job of stifling transition offense by initiating contact with lead ball handlers and almost baiting opponents into making bad decisions. Watch here how Miles Rice almost hides behind Kwame Evans Jr. in order to force Oregon to throw a bad pass to the corner that ultimately gets picked off. Per synergy, Washington State only allows 0.871 points per possession in transition, which is good for 5th best in Division 1, and this becomes a nightmare for teams that rely on transition to score easy points. There's a reason why Arizona, who plays at one of the fastest tempos in America, is 0-2 against the Cougars this year. Washington State was able to take the air out of the ball and really stymie Arizona's transition attack, which limited their options offensively. In addition to their transition defense, Washington State is also an underratedly huge team. Outside of Rice, who's 6'3", Washington State starts two 6'8 guys, a 6'9 guy, and a 6'11 guy, and even off their bench they have 6'11 Ruben Chinyelu and 6'6 Kamani Winsu as reserves with plus positional size as well. This allows Washington State to really shrink the court and restrict movement for opponents because there's simply not a lot of free space when there's that much size on the floor. They're awesome at closing out on shooters and getting a hand up to contest shots, and even at the rim they just do an excellent job of clogging the lane and making you finish through chaos. Watch here how many guys Severe Wheeler has to deal with in the paint before ultimately throwing up a left-handed layup that misses. So, Washington State doesn't make any sense. It's a roster full of lightly recruited players from all over the world, representing a school that has been shunned from high major athletics for the foreseeable future, and not to mention that the basketball program has no real history of success. Everything about Washington State would typically scream doormat. I mean, how many other high major college basketball teams are built on guys who didn't start their careers at the Division I level? But in spite of all of that, Kyle Smith and the Cougars have found a winning recipe that has them on the brink of making program history. And honestly, given all that we know about Washington State and how they got here, the last thing I'd want to do is start counting them out now. Thanks so much for watching, and give me your thoughts below.